you never know what's going to happen. So uh, we would call huddles, we would gather the girls and mean, hey, keep your heads up. Our body language is what's going to lead us throughout this half. Teams are playing me for the drive. Everyone knows I can get to the cup, but I have to pull the trigger. That's something that I have to discipline myself in. Everyone's yelling, shoot it, but I know my strong point. We show some signs where we're ready to guard. We're enthusiastic about stopping people, about running through passing lanes, and we showed some times when we drove the ball and kicked it and passed it and shared it well and took great shots, and then we showed times when we were late defensively and we chose to take poor shots. This is a tough group of, of young ladies we have on our team, and their resolve is to get better, and you know, our schedule's so tough, we have, to, uh, we have to keep fighting. The game's still not over. We have enough way, enough time. We can go on a run. Um, we was telling them like to keep the energy up, no fouls, and just to rebound. I think the second half, we came out flat. We weren't the enforcers. We didn't come out with energy like we did in the first half. So um, once when we seen that our shots wasn't falling, we were getting down on ourselves. And um, we were just allowing too many open layups. I kind of just tried to focus on running fast, swinging the ball, get everything moving, but it seems like when they were on defense, they, they were long. We're, we're small guards, we, we use our quickness to our advantage, but um, per, kind of just, they were long. So I, me looking out there, I saw a whole bunch of arms and had to get to the paint, draw the defense, and kick it out to the shooters. The only thing about it, experience is you gotta give it. And it's, there's, we just have no margin for error.